Hello, my sewing friends. Here are some plans that I have for August sewing. I'm Jen and this is my lanai. It is not my sewing room. Normally I'm in my sewing room, but today I'm out on the warm, very warm, probably in the 90s kind of uh, day where there's sunshine over there, there's thunder going on over there, and the dog is barking on the other side of the fence. So, real life here, folks, real life. You know, I am not a person that has often done plants videos, but I started kind of piling some things up that I knew I wanted to get to in August, and I thought, I'll just go ahead and tell you about them. That way, there's a little bit of accountability that goes on right there, but still, I am giving myself permission to uh, not get all of them done if I don't get all of them done. You know, I'm very much of a mood sewer, so uh, yeah, I'm hoping that I can get to these, and I'm encouraged because I've been doing alterations all week that I knew I needed to get done, and I'm getting them done. Ah, oh, what a feeling of accomplishment. Okay, so plans. I'm gonna start out with this tank top from 1997. This is Vogue 9772. I had someone tell me this was an excellent pattern. She loved it and she's made a lot of them and it is a bias cut tank. And I am so encouraged to hear that because I just think the style lines on this are beautiful, especially this one. So I am going to use this thrifted linen skirt that I got, it is cut on the bias. So that's already done for me. All I have to do is figure out how to lay out the pattern correctly. But that's going to become this bias cut tank. And I'm really, i that's probably next up on my sewing room table. Next up, I have Quick Sew 4262. And believe it or not, I'm not making the sundress. I know, that's, it, it's, astounding, isn't it? That I'm not going to make a sundress. So oh, the person who lives in Florida and lives in sundresses. I've decided I really need to expand what I wear. And so these little cropped pants just look really cute. Here are the line drawings for them. And I like that they're cropped. And so one of the things I want to concentrate on in the next couple of months is making some pants or shorts that go with some things in my closet that I love to wear, but I have nothing to wear them with. So for this one, for Quick Sew 4262, uh, I have this great top that I thrifted. And this is a Columbia brand shirt, which is like a sportswear brand of outdoor clothing. And it's really well made. And so yeah, I have this shirt. I love wearing it. I have nothing to wear it with except for a little white skirt that I made a while ago, which I don't wear very often. But I do have this. This, I think is home deck fabric that I got years and years ago. I don't even know. You know, I may have picked this up at the scrap exchange at one point, which is another thrift store. So that would be appropriate, wouldn't it? But I thought those little quick sew cropped pants I could try them out of this, and at least I'd have something to wear with them. And I don't know how that, that this pattern is going to go. And so I thought, well, I can treat these like a muslin. And there's plenty of fabric here, so I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be able to um, get enough out of there. It's the weight fabric that I, I think is going to be very appropriate. It's almost uh, the weight of a denim, like a lightweight denim. So. We'll see. I'm pretty sure I have enough. It's pretty wide, but if I don't have enough, I'll figure it out. I'm not sure, but I'll keep you posted. But that is the plan, is to use these for trying this pattern out. We'll see. And then I have a Marcy Tilton pattern, Vogue 8582. This is just a series of t-shirts, but I, I like this one, the sleeveless one. Of course I do. You know, I have no qualms. I have grandma arms and I don't care. <laughs> I'm just one of those people that doesn't care. Uh, this is from 2009 and I, I have really gotten into Marcy Tilton, I have to say. Now the interesting thing about this is that it's got this little uh, kind of, what is that? Like a drape on the side. But what I love is if you look at these line drawings, see how that's done? I think that's so cool. It's just like a big long square thing. Well, I have 
this French Terry that I got from Girl Charlie a while ago to make another uh, pattern, and I just never did. And it's lightweight enough that I think that it's going to make a pretty nice little t-shirt. And there's a lot of it here, so, you know, it'll, I'll probably be able to make something else if I like. So I'm going to use this, and then I've got some French Terry that I got from uh, Walmart, I think. It was an off-cut from Walmart, and I'm going to use that for the trim around the neckline and the armholes. Not very, you know, innovative or fun when it comes to Marcy Tilton, especially because if you look here, she's used dots and then stripes. Well, I don't have any stripes in my stash that are going to match this, so I'm just going to use white. And we'll see. I'm hoping that uh, gets a lot of rotation in my wardrobe, um, especially if I'm going to be making bottoms. And I do need to make some more bottoms, whether they're skirts, like a jean skirt, which actually I would probably wear that more often, but crop pants too, or shorts. I have these two Hawaiian thrifted tops that I love, but I've not been able to wear either one because I don't have anything to go with them. So with this, I'm thinking, Maybe um, uh, one of these greens would work, or the taupe of the palm tree. If I, if I have some bottom weight fabric in one of those colors, that will work. I don't. I've looked, and I don't. Or for this one, if I have, again, the taupe of kind of here, or actually the red would kind of be a cool uh, pair of bottoms. I mean, why not? Just go out on a limb. Why not? <laughs> Live dangerously. So those uh, are in the works. I don't know that I'll get any bottoms made for these two things, but hopefully I will if I can find the fabric. We'll see. I also want to, this month, make something for somebody else. Uh, in this case, I've been talking about doing uh, these two patterns for my daughter, Jenna. She is D4. Her designation is D4. Actually, I call her JB, Jenna Benna. Um, this is a sports bra and a pair of leggings. She does yoga, she's very active. She hikes, she dances, she does all kinds of things. And so I know she'll love this. Uh, this is Simplicity 8560. And I'll probably do the sports bra that, uh, which one is it? That ha it's probably this one that has the interesting back on it, if you can tell. And then I think I'm also going to do these leggings, which have that interesting little bit on the leg. These leggings have pockets and that's important to her. So that's gonna be my thing I make for someone else. I still haven't made her that head wrap thing that she wants to cover her colorful hair in the swimming pool, but yeah, I'm working on that, so we'll leave that. And then um, I want to also do at least one refashion. Actually, my bias tank top will work for that, but I have a whole bucket full of things, and I have a basket too of other things in a room that I need to clear out. Of refashions and I have one in mind actually it's a very beautiful coral colored silk dress that I got and I took apart but I've never put back together again so that would be a sundress and I want to work on that so at least one refashion if I only get this one done the bias cut tank then that's fine I'm not going to stress but I would really like to get that done and the last thing I am going to try and get started on is this. I made this back in 1978. Yeah, it would have been about 1978, 79. And I've kept this for that many years. I get it out every year at Christmas. It is a nativity set. Simplicity 8776. And I want to make at least one more, if not several more, like maybe one for each of my girls and their families. So I am going to see if I can get started on it. And I'm thinking if I can just do one or two pieces of it every, you know, 
little while between here and Christmas, I should be doing okay. So when I want a kind of a craft project, then this is what I will reach for. It's a great little pattern and uh, I've thought for a long time I want to make, uh, I thought at first I wanted to replace the one I have, but I know I'll never do that. Um, even though it's fabric and someday it will disintegrate, it's doing well in storage and I get it out every year at, at Christmas. So I'll work on that here and there. I hope that I can get to all these things. We shall see. I will be gone for uh, a little bit of August. I have a trip that I've got to take up north, and so that's gonna knock out a whole weekend, which uh, seems like a lot, but you know, on a plane, that's a perfect time to do little, little uh, bits of sewing, kind of like that is, so we'll see. So those are my plans for August. Let me know what you're up to in August, and you know, as always, It'd be great. I would love to welcome more people to both my lanai and my sewing room. So hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, hit the bell, hit them all. You know, that's always a good thing. And uh, be sure and check out some of these other videos where I uh, talk about some other things that I'm doing. I think it's time to go because that sky is looking really dark and I'm hearing a whole lot of thunder. And I think it's going to break into a huge thunderstorm right now. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.